Yo guys, I'm Yellow, the Norwegian hardcore PC gamer, and today I figure that I should be a nice guy and talk about which rifle is currently the best in CSGO. Now that might sound like a silly subject to go through, but uh, do believe me, there are like two or three factors that are new and that are currently fucking up uh, the hierarchy of all the rifles being balanced, thus meaning that uh, some rifles are now currently shittier while some are pretty good. Now, let's start off with the number one, and that will be the AK-47. It's currently the best uh, when you take into consideration that when you shoot someone in the head, they are not bobbing and weaving back and forth, meaning that you have to go for extra shots. In many scenarios, and especially when you are going to flank somebody, the AK then becomes very precise and accurate. As long as you aren't trying to shoot some sort of CT guy trying to defuse, then you might as well just go for the outright middle body spray, and hopefully the game would fuck you over. Uh, yeah, the, the game fucking you over in that scenario is ne never really fun, right? Now, that being said, let's go over then to number two. Um, this weapon is pretty similar to the AK. It's the M4A4, as I hear I'm deep into the, the little ace play. Now, the cool thing about the A4 is that the gun is having a higher rate of fire than the AK, and this makes it decently competitive from the get-go, even though, again, the maximum accuracy is probably the worst of all the main rifles. Um, it's just a bit worse than the AK, I do believe. But the point, though, to really make also is that it shoots so fast and it got so many bullets to spare, and the spray is so similar in some sort of way. Uh, when you compare it to the AK, uh, AK-47, you can still use it in a very effective manner. And especially when you then compare it to the last one, the shit tier, and this is the rifle that gets even more fucked over than the A4. Considering the A4 have to first shoot somebody once in the head, and then either make a follow-up shot, and at somebody's head when they have a full head armor and armor and all that stuff in which you then have to either you know shoot a secondary bullet at the head or body if you decide to go for a second headshot you might get screwed over because of how for some reason metal head banging is now a thing whenever you get shot i mean you get the metal head dink shot as well so i guess it makes some sort of sense but uh, fuck that shit <laughs> all right it's just annoying let's be honest so yeah that, that being a thing then let's move over to the shit tier, which is currently the A1. It used to be my favorite rifle in the game, and that was because of how the spray was incredibly solid, meaning that I got the most out of practicing spraying to begin with. And that was aside from, the, in some cases, the price. It used to be a little bit cheaper in the past as well. I mean, you get very few bullets, and the magazine is already smaller from the get-go. Um, it used to have a decent high uh, rate of fire as well, but that sadly got tuned down. Now, that's not really the biggest annoyance with the A1 currently. It's more about the matter of fact that Valve has decided, and this is really fucking annoying the more you test it out, alright? They have decided uh, once in the past that the spray should be a lot worse with the A1. That's fair to some degree, considering it used to be incredibly good. But aside from that, they also lowered the fucking rate of fire and kept the inaccuracy making the inaccuracy of the, of the spray worse, I guess. It's kind of hard to explain, but that's not important. What is really important here is that now, with this update, it got even worse. Because Valve decided that, all right, this trait that we have added to the AK-47, meaning that the first uh, burst, the first seven to eight bullets you shoot, they will either be a little bit more accurate, but then as you get even deeper into uh, the burst, and thus making it into a spray, you'll get a lot more punishment in terms of your randomness, uh, RNG, and accuracy of your shots. I mean, like, the aftermath of that, when you then apply it to the A4, it's the same as the AK, but it's a lot, a lot worse with the A1. Uh, the best way to explain it is that um, you become incredibly inaccurate. Incredibly inaccurate after, like, three shots uh, with the A1. Meaning that you can't even make proper bursts with the gun anymore. Uh, if you do, you're pretty lucky getting a kill. You must get a headshot early on if it's gonna work as well, because it have pretty decent range versus the A4, uh, which then means that you can dink a guy, then spray to get a follow-up hit. But aside from that, it doesn't even have that much of a good like um, headshot accuracy or first shot accuracy anymore as well, because Valve decided, that, yeah, let's fuck that over as well. And now when you then take all these factors and you try and combine them with the matter of fact that if you then find somebody and you shoot them in the head, they have that armor, now they're also gonna headbang. I mean, just from all these angles, the A1 really looks like the shit tier rifle currently. So I'm not surprised if the A4 right here will get a lot more popularity. People will enjoy to burst with a gun, to spray with it uh, outright if they are pressured to. In which uh, the A1, yeah, I mean, it will still have an application because it has supreme accuracy. Let's be honest, that's a true fact. But in terms of raw flexibility and reliability, the A4 is just a lot better. But still, at least in my book, not as good as the AK-47, though. As I there, just cleanly tap a guy in the head. I don't have to deal with any backup shots. Fuck off, really. But hopefully you guys enjoy this gameplay. I 
got myself a lovely ace. A lot of people tuned into the stream when I was playing this game as well, so I had a really, really awesome time. And that being said, you should go, probably, go, um, you know, go in the description, uh, tune into the stream. All links are down there if you guys want to follow uh, me up. Or you can just follow me on Facebook and Twitter to know, uh, to, to get to know whenever I do go live on Twitch. Uh, aside from that, though, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and... Um, Especially thanks to you guys uh, that have decided to become Patreons. I do believe I might have to upgrade or fix my headset somehow. Which uh, it broke after three years of usage uh, from natural causes. So uh, rip in pepperoni's headset. Currently I've patched it up in some jerry-rigged way. But uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> so yeah. Shit happens. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the uh, support. The tremendous support. Have a nice day. And don't get beastified when you play.